technology wasn't my first priority just because I was actually quite afraid of technology. Yes. Uh, for someone that's going to tech role, I know I shouldn't admit to that, but I was actually really afraid of technology, which is why I went into accounting. Um, but it's really important to kind of like face your fears in college. And I exposed myself, I'm a self learner, so I exposed myself to a lot of different applications like Oracle, ERP, SAP, ERP. Um, I take courses in my own time just to explore and understand them because I know I'm going to see it in the future um, for sure. And almost every company that I've applied to in terms of technology and auditing and even just finance and accounting roles, they've talked about just the Oracle product, like the Oracle NetSuite. Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to be interviewing Malika Terigapula. She is an accounting student, actually a dual major, accounting and computer science. Very, very interesting combination at Westchester University. She is the lead sector analyst in the Westchester University Investment Club. She was the president of the accounting club, and she's the treasurer of the computer science club. And obviously today I'm interviewing her because she was one of the scholarship recipient, the recipient of the PICPA foundation. And I'm gonna to talk to her as a board member, how was the process of that scholarship? First, how did you learn about the scholarship opportunity? Yeah, so I was actually going through our business school, Westchester Business School uh, magazine. And I saw that one of my uh, peers won the PICPA scholarship. So that's when I first knew about the program and I saw, and I went on their website and I saw that a lot of students apply all over from Pennsylvania, even high school students, uh, which I thought was really great that, you know, a foundation like this was trying to encourage students from such an early on age. So that's how I went about applying. Uh, also my professor, Dr. Ohlers, my accounting professor told me about the Pennsylvania CPA Foundation. So um, I definitely had a lot of people telling me about it. And at this point, it made sense to apply. So that's how I went about it. Yes, obviously, we both know Dr. Ohlers. Uh, it's, it's a great guy. And the reason why they want to get accounting students as early as high school, because we don't have enough accounting students. So this is everyone who's listening. If you want a major that you are, you're going to get a job, you're in demand, accounting is your major. Um, and I'm glad you found out about it in the magazine in the Westchester business office. Uh, could you tell us how was the process? Was it, we'd say, difficult, easy? What would you say? Yeah, I mean, it was, I would say it was fairly easy. Not, it wasn't like just an essay, but they did want to know that they're really trying to get to know about you, uh, your background, your financial background, um, what your plans are. They asked a lot of questions on like how you see yourself 10 years from now. Um, they asked a lot of like questions. It wasn't just one big essay. It was actually like five to six short answer responses. And I also had to submit two recommendation letters, which I was able to get from my accounting professors at Westchester. And um, I also had to submit my resume. Absolutely. And can you tell us a little bit more about your future plan? Because your background is pretty comprehensive. Computer science, you're part of the investment club, you're an accounting student. So what do you want to do down the road? What's your plan? Yeah, so I actually just started off as just an accounting major when I first started college. I was really into investing and finance. As you can tell, I've been in an investment club for a long time. Yes. Um, so that's why I started off accounting. When I first started off accounting, I didn't really have the plan to do a CPA. Um, the CPA opportunity kind of came up as I was in college, as my professors were mentioning it. But um, computer science is a whole nother story. It was something that was encouraged my, by my family, but... I am so happy that I did it. I don't regret it at all. Uh, I do take tons of credits, but I don't regret it at all. Um, technology plays a role in every company. And even to do basic accounting, you need to know how to use those ERP systems like Oracle and SAP. So I definitely don't regret my computer science major at all. And what started off as a minor turned into a double major for computer science. And I actually received an offer from one of the big four recently in their technology assurance audit, which is a really a good mix between accounting and also technology. And they were really happy to see that computer science major as well. And I just got a lot of exposure to those applications beforehand. So it was really helpful to talk about them uh, during the interview. Absolutely, Malika. I mean, you're a rare commodity. Accounting are rare commodities, computer science are rare commodities. To find them in the same person, you're going to provide 
lot of value for that future big four. I'm assuming the, one of the big fours if you go to Westchester University. Absolutely. And hopefully at some point, accounting will be a STEM major and you will have a double STEM major. And you will, I mean, obviously you are part of the future because accounting is heading more toward technology. You already have a strong background down the road. You have many options. You can get your CPA, your CISA, to improve those credentials. And I'm gonna say this Malika, that I do teach on the Westchester University campus every once in a while. And I know we cross a path every once in a while. I know you work in the IT department. So it's not yeah. only virtual, this is more personal where we also, <laughs> we met in person before at some point. Um, anything else you'd like to advise accounting students, major, for example, in technology, make the case, why would you encourage them? And what's the difficulty in computer science? Is it the math? What type of background do you need to have to succeed, even if you get a minor in IT and cybersecurity or any technology related field, because that's what students want to hear. Someone like you who's already doing it. So could you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, so um, technology wasn't my first priority just because I was actually quite afraid of technology. Yes. Uh, for someone that's going to tech role, I know I shouldn't admit to that, but I was actually really afraid of technology, which is why I went into accounting. Um, but it's really important to kind of like face your fears in college. And I exposed myself, I'm a self learner, so I exposed myself to a lot of different applications like Oracle, ERP, SAP, ERP. Um, I take courses in my own time just to explore and understand them because I know I'm going to see it in the future um, for sure. And almost every company that I've applied to in terms of technology and auditing and even just finance and accounting roles, they've talked about just the Oracle product, like the Oracle NetSuite. So I think it's really important to familiarize yourself and having that accounting major really was had like created a strong foundation for me and it made learning those technologies on my own a lot easier. So technology is a must, it's ever evolving, ever evolving, just it's always changing. Um, even in my internship last summer, I was a business intelligence intern and they were implementing new technologies and new softwares always. And I was part of that process where I was testing gateways of certain applications like Power BI and just working with Altrix, which is a relatively newer software for the company. Um, it's really important just to get yourself comfortable. It's not about learning how to code or knowing Python. It's about getting familiar and understanding how the backbone of the, how that software or that technology works, which just makes it so much easier in the workplace. Even if you're just an accounting major, you're not doing it on a piece of paper with a pen or pencil. You are doing it on a software and you're gonna run into issues. And nowadays companies are spending thousands, millions of dollars. Like a lot of their budget goes to IT, uh, IT support teams, but they, if they have competent enough accounting majors, they don't have to spend as much money. So you definitely wanna have a little bit of that business and IT. And that's definitely a valuable skill from what I see. Absolutely. What you said, Malika, is a great advice. You got to face your fears, whatever those fears are, face that snake and start to deal with it so mm -hmm. you can overcome those fears. But also you gave an excellent advice is you can start to learn on your own, uh, Oracle, um, if you'd like to, or ERP, just to kind of get familiarize yourself with it. Then you might want to get a certification, take a course here, a course there. It's a self-learner. So it's not like you need, as you said, you need to know programming or C++ or Python to be, to be considered an IT individual. And obviously that's the future. If you want to succeed in accounting, um, you know, you can go through tax audit, but technology is is the front line nowadays. And I'm sure you heard, Malika, that accounting firms are hiring more and more non-accounting majors, especially IT tech tech majors like data analytics or computer computer science related IT support functions. And you're in the right industry. Um, anything else you would like to share as an advice? I mean, again, if I was hiring, I will definitely, you'll be my first hire, Malika, based on your background and any firm, yeah. I'm pretty sure they would love to have you. You got the great personality, accounting, computer science, you're active on various uh, clubs on campus, leadership skills. So any, any last thing you would like to say to the students who are listening? Anything? Yeah. I think my biggest advice would be one of the reasons I applied to PICPI, PICPA, sorry, uh, is because 
it's not just a foundation where they're giving out scholarships. They connect you to so many resources. There's so many networking opportunities. And in computer science, I didn't really have a lot of those networking opportunities. So I know the value and the importance of networking. And I'm so thankful I applied to the PICP. I mean, yes, the scholarship money was great, which I really needed. Uh, but also I constantly am getting those emails from Leslie Brown and Megan Swick on um, career fairs that the PICPA is holding. And those are extremely helpful. I cannot tell you how important networking is because I, being in college during COVID and also not having that strong networking um, backbone um, opportunities in computer science, my other major, made me realize how important it is because I was able to receive that in accounting. So guys, yeah, it's not just about the money. It's also about the networking opportunities and the support system. Absolutely. The link, it's going to be in the description and you'll start to receive those emails from Leslie and Megan from the PICPA. Malika, you guys heard it from Malika. Thank you so much for your time. And I'm pretty sure I will see you on campus at some point. Stay safe and see you in person, hopefully soon.